Over the last few years, we've done several comparison shows, everything from subcompacts to compacts, minivans to SUVs. This week, we're going to take 10 mid-sized cars, put them head to head, and find out what we think is driving television's choice for the best mid-sized car in Canada. But how exactly did we come up with those 10 cars? Well, we followed a few basic rules. We only considered base model four cylinder four door sedans. The starting price had to be between twenty to twenty eight thousand dollars. This includes many of the most popular cars in the country. All of the cars had to be 08 or 09 models with an engine size of 2.5 liters or smaller and the evaluation was done with automatic transmissions. I know what you're thinking. There are way more than ten different four cylinder mid sized cars so why just 10? Well, here's a list of the cars that are in the comparison and the vehicles omitted. Some of the cars considered are basically rebadged versions of the same vehicle, so we only included one. For example, the Chevy Malibu made it in, but the similar Saturn Aura and Pontiac G6 sedans were not included. The Chrysler Sebring didn't make it in, but the cousin car, the Dodge Avenger, is included. The Honda Accord is in, as are the Ford Fusion, Hyundai Sonata, and Kia Magenta. The outgoing Mazda 6 was not included on the request of the manufacturer, plus their brand new 09 was not available yet. Mitsubishi would not even make a Gallant available for us to drive. To round out the list, we have the Nissan Altima, Subaru Legacy, Toyota Camry, and Volkswagen Passat. It is a great list, but I got to tell you, trying to find 10 cars all in base trim is a real challenge. So if you see a car that's got a higher trim level, know that we didn't evaluate it on the extra features, just on the base features. All of the vehicles are four cylinders. So how exactly did we evaluate them? Lacey and I had to score between one and 10 in five categories. They include comfort, interior design, driving characteristics, build quality, and overall appeal. In addition, we came up with a list of 10 safety and comfort features we were looking for. If the car didn't have a feature, it lost a point. We also gave one point for every point J.D. Power & Associates gives for initial quality scores. This could add an additional five points. So, 100 possible points from Lacey and I, 10 for features, and five for quality scores for a total of 115 potential points. Right after the break, we start the challenge. Driving television's choice for the best mid-sized car in Canada.